Farhan, in your films, you capture the many hues of human life, be it as a writer, as a director, and as an actor. What do you think of the new color to, of 2016, Monaco? Well, thanks, Yudi. Firstly, uh, thank you. You're doing an amazing job. How about we give him a round of applause? Yeah? Um, and good evening, everyone. It's, it's really a pleasure to be here again with Dulux. Um, it's been a long time that I've been part of this family, so it feels good to be here again. And this year, the, the color of the year, which is a very special event that happens every year, is Monarch Gold, which is really going to be the new design trend, as far as we know, and as far as we can tell people to use for this year. So I also want to thank, of course, Jeremy and Rajiv for having me here uh, to celebrate this day with them. Uh, you're very welcome. And you know, I thought when, when we picked uh, Monarch Gold, we didn't pick it for you, Fahan, but when we did, I thought, okay, that's going to work really well, because you're going to love that one, and I think it's, uh, yeah. Thank you very much. You, well. you know, ever since I did Milka, I'm, I'm only after gold. <laughs> that's the only color that matters, so I'm really, really happy that it's Monarch Gold. Fahan, when it comes to uh, gold and uh, the dazzle it has, uh, how do you incorporate it in your style statement? Um, well, um, yeah, I mean, it is something that really does stand out. You know, there, there's, and there's something, uh, at least in the Indian context, there's something auspicious also about it. It's something that you, you uh, procure on, a, on an auspicious day. It's something that is used to celebrate life. It's used to celebrate how you're feeling. So it, it really depends on, on what a person is feeling at that time. And of course, colors affect mood. You know, the, the way you paint your house, whether it's the interior or the exterior. You know, the, what you're going to feel every time you live in that space or look at that space is going to make you feel a certain way. Um, so, colors play a huge role. So, I do I'm wear it at times when I feel like I want to feel a little bit, up. Little bit up above things here. Yeah. Uh, hi, this is Suhail from Glamsham. Uh, hi, uh, as Dulux says, let's color. So, if given an opportunity actually to uh, Farhan and Shraddha, uh, what would you be your imagination line with what color you would paint this world in fact? I just a very... Yeah, you are very philosophical and deep questions. <laughs> What color would you paint the I world? What are your favorite colors? As I like it's quite often you ask actually, you know. Uh, yeah, I mean everyone has a favorite color. Uh, I think, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I guess my favorite colors are slightly cooler colors, more often than not. I think they work nice in this Mumbai heat, na, to be in slightly cooler colors. So that's what I, I usually wear. And what about golden, as like we are talking about golden colors? Uh, I think UD already asked Gold. me that question. Oh, okay. You know, I, I find that like quite a mood uplifter to want to wear. So it depends on whether I need that kind of boost or not uh, in my life. So then I do. Farhan, hi. Jyoti from E24, News 24. My question is, what color of your house is your color? Do you decide that your wife decides that you have to change the color when you have to change the color? Do you have to give suggestions? Yes, I mean, there is a democratic system at home. So, uh, yeah, there are discussions, hote Aisa nahi hai ki ek person, and then of course there's an interior designer as well. So, they paint different uh, walls with different colors, so you can live with it for a while. Because it's a very big decision actually, to be honest with you. Because you will see the rose and rose this color, you will see the rose and sit it. So, you have to feel very comfortable with, with what's on your walls. So, um, yeah, it's, it's something you decide together. Uh, Yes, I have done a lot. Where I used to live no, by, with my mom and my sister, we painted one entire wall ourselves. In the film, you have seen that Karthik Koning Karthik may be a painting, a wall. So there are many occasions like that where we painted stuff. And we painted the town red on many occasions. <laughs> if you really must know. Uh, Farhan, hi. Uh, for a, a question common to both Farhan and Shweta. Gold is something that uh, we Indians are mostly fascinated with. We, haven't, we have never seen uh, uh, anyone outside India being fascinated with gold. Why do you think has this fascination lingered on for a long time? Uh, no, I don't firstly think that's true. I think culturally, I mean across all civilizations, gold was always considered a very auspicious metal. Um, and because it's easily malleable, it was used to, to make many things. Uh, it was used as trade. It was used as currency, you know, through many civilizations, including India. So it is something that's predominantly um, has been around and has been in the in the collective conscious of people as something precious for a long, long time. Um, and over and above that, I think even now, when you go and if you see people when they really need to dress up to go somewhere, be it an, an award ceremony or, or anything that's like an important ceremony, you will see a lot of people uh, wearing gold because there is something that 
automatically that indicates celebration, it, it indicates a certain kind of prestige. Um, and so I don't agree with you that it's only an Indian thing. I mean, we celebrate it in a different way from how people do uh, the, uh, uh, in other civilizations and in other countries, but they celebrate it too. Paran and Shraddha? Yes. Uh, both of you are part of this film, Rock On, now, the, the, the sequel, and you have just had first schedule in Shillong. Can you share a few interesting uh, moments? And, and Faran, you said that it's de dedicated to the Northeasterners. So can you tell us something about the film, both of you? Um, you know, this is not really the, the perfect place to be sitting and uh, talking about Rock On 2. I'm sure we'll have lots of occasions where we can sit and discuss it a little bit more. Aram se you know, and a little more comfortably. I think right now if we just, we, we discuss what we are here for, I think we have other people on stage with us as well and we should respect their time for being here as well, please. Sir, the black and white time was a lot earlier. Farhan and Shraddha, and Farhan, uh, apart from you, we see Shah Rukh and Saif also promoting paint brands. So do you consider yourself to be a competition for them? Uh, no, I mean, what, what kind of competition is this? <laughs> painting competition. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, if you organize in a painting house, competition, you order in the same then, then we'll see, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> I challenge them to a painting competition. Even I. I am well. not bad. <laughs> Hello, Farhan sir, my question is for you. Uh, you have given your voice for the national anthem raw. Recently, an incident happened where a family was thrown out of PVR yeah. for not standing up in the uh, not standing up for the national anthem. As a citizen, what do you think about this? And do do you think it is compulsory? Uh, it should be made compulsorily for everyone to stand up. Sir, I don't know. There is a Supreme Court ruling vis-a-vis -vis this, where they have a certain ruling as to what a person should do when the national anthem play, uh, plays. It is up to each individual to decide whether they want to follow that ruling or not follow that ruling. It's up to them. If you ask me personally, I can only answer for myself. If I hear the national anthem playing, I will stand when I hear it play because it evokes a certain respect in me and I, I would stand. But uh, the Supreme Court is the Supreme Court and uh, their judgment is there for anyone to follow or to challenge if they want to.